Hi, we're Mac and Sarah. If this is your first time here, then welcome. We're really happy you found our channel. And if you are returning viewers, then thanks so much for tuning back in again. In today's video, we're gonna be talking through our trip plans for 2024, which we're really excited about. In 2023, we had some great trips. We stayed at some fantastic places, and that's made us really excited for what we're gonna book in 2024. We also had some fantastic comments, ideas, and tips from you and we've taken all of those suggestions on board when we've considered where to book for this year. Now some of the sites that were suggested and some of the sites that we researched uh, are very popular so we wanted to make sure that we booked early. So we booked all of our trips and locked everything down actually in November last year which for us is super organised. And when we're looking for somewhere to stay, we have a few criteria. First of all, it has to be dog friendly because we travel with our pal Dozer, our 14 year old Labrador. Um, and when we're looking for a site, we generally try and find something with a little bit of something extra about it. Maybe a cafe, a bar, a restaurant, or maybe something else. Just something that makes that site unique. So without further ado, let's get started. Our first proper trip of the year will be to Old Oaks in Glastonbury in April and I know that April sounds like a long way off but we've got plenty of content planned between now and then too. Now you might be saying didn't you go to Old Oaks last year and yes we did and we'll link the video below but we were so taken with the site and we loved it so much that we thought it is well worth a repeat visit but this time with a twist because old oaks also have lodges to rent so we're taking my mum on holiday she's going to come with us for a week she's going to rent a lodge and we're going to take our caravan and we thought it might be a really interesting way to experience that site perhaps if you're traveling with a family member who doesn't have a caravan old oaks touring park is an adults only site and is part of the tranquil parks network it's just a short distance from Glastonbury with all of its quirky mix of shops and cafes and nearby you'll also find some very popular attractions such as Cheddar Gorge and Wookie Hole Caves. The site itself is super dog friendly which Dozer loved with a three acre field where your four legged fur pals can run free and even take a dip in the dog pond before getting cleaned up in the heated dog wash. Our second trip will be to Black Knoll Caravan and Motorhome Club site in Brockenhurst and we're going to be there during the early May bank holiday which for us is a really efficient way of using annual leave from work. It looks like a really lovely site, the reviews look excellent and there is a great sounding pub nearby which will be perfect for a Sunday afternoon pub lunch. We love the new forest area. There is so much to see and do around there. Um, and you may have seen our Red Shoots camping or our Back of Beyond videos. Both of those sites are quite close to the new forest area and we'll link those vlogs below for you. Black Knoll is ideally situated just outside Brockenhurst in the very heart of the new forest, making it a really popular choice with campers. With its free roaming ponies, cattle, and even piggies, Alongside the acres upon acres of open spaces, the area is a perfect place for us to get out and enjoy some walks with Dozer before refuelling at any of the great looking pubs or restaurants nearby. Next up at the end of May, another bank holiday is Heaven Farm in Uckfield. And this looks like a lovely site. It has several different areas, one of which is a five pitch CL. It has its own woodland. It makes its own ice cream. Wait. You had me at ice cream. <laughs> I think we actually may have booked this site just because it has its own ice cream parlour on site. I think we actually did. Yeah, that was the draw for us, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. But it looks like a beautiful location. It's got great woodland walks and it just looks like a really lovely place to stay for a long weekend. And ice cream. <laughs> ice cream? <laughs> One of the key features that attracted us to Heaven Farm, apart from the homemade ice cream, is the stable tea rooms, which serves a great looking selection of food and drink, including breakfasts, high tea, and even Sunday roasts. There's also a kids play barn and an adventure golf course on site. One of the attractions nearby that we're keen to check out is the Bluebell Steam Railway. 
In early summer, we have two sites Hang booked. On. Sorry, I was doing the fucking face. <laughs> Why are you? That's that annoying. happens to me all the time. <laughs> Every time you start, I'm making <laughs> a funny face and then I have to okay. stop and go. Okay. In early summer, we have two sites booked back to back over a two week period. First of all, we're going to be heading to Old Brick Kilns in Norfolk, which we've had several suggestions for from viewers and also from people who we've met on other campsites, and it looks really lovely. Old Brick Kilns is in Fakenham in North Norfolk, a beautiful part of the country. In addition to the recommendations, we were drawn to this site by its great facilities, including Barney's Bar and Takeaway. We always love to have the opportunity to wander over for a cold beer and a bite to eat while on site, so this put a firm tick in that box. And once we leave Old Brick Kilns, we are headed straight to the site that we have had by far the most recommendations for from our wonderful viewers, and that is I Kettleby Lakes in Melton Mowbray. Now, um, you guys probably already know that this site is fantastic. We seem to be the only people <laughs> who haven't stayed there. So we've booked up and we're gonna see for ourselves what all the fuss is about. It looks fab. We are sure lots of you know how much this site has to offer and it looks wonderful. We only just learned that you can order takeaway direct to your pitch from local food establishments. We know that we're gonna be very happy here. There's also a bar and tea room, which is another tick on our list. And I wonder if we'll be able to try some of the famous local Stilton. The final trip of the year that we've booked so far at least is Fishery Creek on Hailing Island for a long weekend by the seaside in summer. It's not too far away from us. So we're really hoping for a low key, chilled out, relaxed long weekend. And Fishery Creek is a great place to go if you're into water sports like kayaking or windsurfing. We've booked a creekside view and it is the one right next to the slipway so you never know we might even get our toes wet. Fishery Creek is a privately owned campsite and is a great spot for hitting the water. Hailing Island has a real English seaside town vibe which is always fun so maybe we'll take our bucket and spade. We'll still have a few days of annual leave left to use this year, so if you have any other suggestions of places that you recommend that we should visit or try, leave us a comment below and let us know. Now, there is one more trip that we haven't yet spoken about, and that's going to be in a couple of weeks to a site called Concierge Camping. Now, we've been there before, but that's not the reason we're going to that site. It may be to introduce you to something new. And we're going to leave you with that teaser and there'll be more to come soon. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching. Keep those suggestions coming in the comments and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye.